Tashkent, 2022. One of the greatest world finals ever seen. Grigalashvili, Kase. One for the ages. The Georgian warrior versus the Belgian technician. And deep into golden score, a new world champion, Grigalashvili. Flipping the script on Kase, who reigned supreme one year before in Budapest. Taking the red back patch and the gold medal. Since then, the Georgian has gone from strength to strength. The World Masters, the Paris Grand Slam, total dominance. Kasse, meanwhile, took time to bounce back, but rediscovered his mojo in Antalya with a brilliant victory in the final over 2018 world champion Molai of Azerbaijan. And he will go into Doha on a high, hoping to reclaim the title in what could be part three of the ultimate trilogy. But Molai himself will surely be in the mix. Along with his silver in Antalya, he also took silver in the Masters behind Grigalashvili. But before that, it was gold for the home crowd in Baku, where he overcame Kase. After five years, could he be on top of the world again? Or will someone else rise to the occasion? The man Molai lost to in the Olympic final, Japan's Nagase Takanori, the 2015 world champion, took bronze last year and is ready to go for gold this time. Schmidt and Lee are the young guns. They both impressed in 2022, but this year, the Korean has looked stronger, with gold in Portugal. Then come the more experienced campaigners. Borchashvili, Olympic bronze and world bronze in Tashkent. Francis Jallo, who has medaled in all four of his world tour appearances since the Tashkent Worlds. And Hungary Zungvari used all his experience to claim a Grand Slam victory in Tashkent this year. But in Doha, only the best of the best will triumph. And right now, the best in the world is Grigalashvili. But nobody has defended the under 81 kilogram title since 2011. And Kase wants his title back.